Hello Capricorn. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel, about the D3 Tarot, which is review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. Jeez. Interesting. Um, yeah, very interesting. I'm looking at 33, 44, and 55. It's like doubles. Okay. Jumping right into this Capricorn, which is showing me you've definitely started something new for yourself. I don't exactly know what this is. Um... I feel like very, geez, I feel like as quickly as you decided to try or do something, you also realize the problems and the issues that come from it. Um, at the same time, I feel like this is definitely regarding your work, your career, your position, what you've done and accomplished for yourself. You're saying there definitely seems to be a nice foundation, a sense of stability and accomplishment there. Um, not only regarding your business possible foundation or possibly, you know, just your living situation, just security overall, you're showing me that even though those problems and issues are there, you're doing what you got to do to get through it. So you're, you're saying I'm making the best of it. I don't know exactly where this is going to go or where things will lead, but I'm willing to kind of ride this out and find out. Well, you are, um, these problems and these issues that you've kind of just pushed to the side um you're finding out later on down the line like oh great that's what happened um or that's what's currently happening and even though you're kind of saying i don't fully 100 understand how why or have a real clear answer or understanding of what is taking place you're still saying you know what well i still have quite a bit here that is worth holding on to so let me just kind of stay in place and see what else can be done There you are, Capricorn. <laughs> okay. Where's this going? <laughs> I remember this energy. Yeah, it's it's the dancing cup. It's a dancing cup, Capricorn. It's a dancing cup. So now I'm looking at, I know it's there. I'm looking at four, four, four and five, five, five. So it's gone from doubles to triples.
there definitely is a call for fast decisive action which i feel like what you're saying is you are having to move very very quickly and it kind of is it's becoming unsettling to you at the same time you're also kind of saying um i'm trying my best to accept it and work with the situation and circumstances i don't understand this you show me that I don't know why you kind of show me like a sputter, a sputter. It's like a, it's like a energetic sputter. It's like, it's there and then it's gone. It's like, kind of like a blip. It's like blip and then gone. I almost feel like for you, there's this energy of literally this, you know, it could be, you know, poker energy. It doesn't have to be, but there's an energy of almost feeling as if when things are going, when things are going wrong and things are really down, you bet everything on one thing and you're kind of like well whatever this is i'm moving forward with this and you it's like you almost like embody this new thing and this new emotion or this new energy if you will you embody it and you even move forward with it and you defend it until further on later on down the road when you're kind of like mm, and i just don't care it's like a hat it's a hat um you put it on even though you're kind of like well I love it. I'm about it. And then it's like, mm, yeah, actually not anymore. I've, you know, I'd say I was a little bit on the fence about it. It's like you were defending and fighting for something that you, you yourself were even on the fence about. And you're saying, you know what? No, I, I need to think a little bit more realistically here. A little bit more. You, you kind of show me this energy of, um, I, I need to be smarter than that. I need to do better than that. And that's what's very fascinating is even though things are actually, you know, coming in for you regarding financial security and stability, you're still even kind of showing me like, yeah, but I just don't know anymore. And so you're, once again, you're back on the fence on and about whether you 100% truly believe in who you are and what you've done and accomplished for yourself. Um, you just don't know. You're, you just don't know. You're saying, I don't even know where I'm at emotionally speaking. And this is where it's kind of like, and once again, it goes back to that, I have to say, Capricorn, it goes back to like almost that question of your belief system, your faith, um, your walk of life, if you will. It's like, geez Louise. You know, I've, <laughs> personal information. Um, forget how old I was. And there's the last five, so major shifts. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. It's like, you know, they can fuck off, though. I get it. But it's true. Um, is it was as much shit as they've talked. <laughs> Come on now. With as much, I question them as well, Capricorn. I question them as well. With as much shit as they've talked and spewed. And it's like this and that and this and that and that and that and that and that. And that. You're even, unfortunately, it's like there's these like these stupid little fire starters, I'll call them, in your work or in your career, in your field, in your content or your niche. There's little, little fire starters that they like to kind of like pick and probe and, you know, start shit for the sake of shit. Because they're bored. They're so bored, their demons are crawling up the wall. And they're trying to figure out what to do about you. And it's like, <laughs> you keep looking over in Capricorn's lane and watch, there's going to be a car pop up in front of you. And they'll call it some sort of glitch in the matrix or system, right? Um, interesting. You always look any other direction other than where you're going and something just blind spots or blindsides someone. You're showing me, it's like you do have, it's interesting because this energy of competition between you and them you do get a kick, little bit of a kick out of it because it's like they wouldn't be, of course, they wouldn't be challenging you if you weren't a somebody. It makes sense. At the same time, though, it's kind of like you're showing me. It's like, yeah, you know, it's like it's like I'm trying to just focus on my career myself and do what I got to do. Meanwhile, I have to deal with these jokes. Durs. It's nice, though, because even though you're kind of showing me like, yeah, it's disrupting, you're still kind of keeping your cool about it. It's like I got to do what I got to do.
So I'm also looking at 666. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. 444-555-666. Um, there's definitely synchronicities here. So, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign, an earth sign, or a water sign. They're all here. Goodbye.